in dynamic programming recurrence related overlapping sub problems can be solved we'll see how this knapsack problem can be solved by using dynamic programming given n items of integer weights w1 w2 etc wn values v1 v2 etc vn a sack of integer capacity w we are required to find out most valuable subset of items that fit into the knapsack so in order to do that first you are required to formulate the recurrence relation for that you are required to consider instance defined by first i items and capacity j where j is less than or equal to w because the maximum capacity of the sack here is w obviously the capacity must be less than or equal to w let v i j be optimal value of such an instance then v i j can be find, found like this whenever j minus w i is less than 0 that means you cannot able to accommodate the i item into the sack during that time you have to consider whatever value you have earned when you have considered i minus 1 items with capacity j the same value is to be considered for v i j that is v i j equal to v i minus 1 comma j so if you can able to accommodate the i item that means capacity is j so j minus w i is greater than or equal to 0 that indicates j is greater than or equal to w i so in that case you have to consider maximum of these two values that is find out what is v i minus 1 comma j and v i plus v i minus 1 comma j minus w i whichever is maximum that you are required to assign assign to v i comma j so this is the recurrence relation for knapsack problem using dynamic programming so the initial conditions are v0 comma j is 0 and v i 0 equal to 0 because when you are considering 0th item with capacity whatever may be the capacity of the sack is the value earned is 0 because you are not considering any item into the sack and you have items but the capacity is 0 when the capacity is 0 even though items are there you cannot able to accommodate into the sack so in that case also value and is equal to 0 so this these are the two initial conditions you are required to use to find the solution so look at here our objective is to find v n comma w or f n comma w because you have given with n items and the capacity of the sack is w you are required to find out v n comma w this is the objective so whenever you are required to find out this so you have to fill this intermediate values also how do you find that values f i j in general f i j is equal to f i minus 1 comma j that you are required to find out comma so for this that is f i minus 1 comma j minus w i for that you just add this v i value so whichever is maximum of these two that will be assigned to f i j so this is how you are required to find out the f i j or here v i j so we will see for this instance how to find the solution so initialize the table with value 0 that is 0th column and 0th row is to be filled with value zeros because here capacity is 0 whatever may be the number of items you are going to earn 0 value when the capacity is 0 so for that reason for all the rows that is row with labeled with one item second item third fourth for all this you are required to fill value zero and here whatever may be the capacity of the sack 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are considering 0 item to the sack. In that case, also value and is 0. So this is the initial condition. Here, number of items given to you is 4. And the capacity of the sack is 5. So <coughs> you are required to consider a table of size that is n plus 1 into w plus 1 columns. So, because here we are including 0 through and 0 column with that number of rows is n plus 1 and the capacity of the sack is since it is equal to w, w plus 1 columns you have to have in the table. So, we will see how we can fill this table. So now consider this row that is row labeled with 1 that is this indicates that you are considering first item into the sack with different capacities that is 0 to 5. So this is already initial condition when the capacity is 1. When the capacity is 1, J is 1 and capacity of the sack is fine so here sorry w1 value is 2 weight of the first item is 2 1 minus 2 it's equal to minus 1 this is less than 0 and look at here j minus wi in this case first item we are considering so j minus Weight of the first item is 2. So, 1 minus 2 is less than 0. So, in this case, you have to consider this function v i minus 1 comma j. That is v 0 comma 1. v 0 comma 1 is 0. Similarly, here j minus w i. That is 2. Here 2. Capacity is 2. Minus 2 is 0. In this case, you have to consider maximum of V 0, 2, then 12 plus V 0, 0. So, it is equal to 12. Similarly, V 3, 0 is nothing but maximum of V 0, 3, 12 plus V 0, 1. Again, it is equal to 12 only. Again, V v1 comma 4 is nothing but v0 comma 4 12 plus v0 comma 2 that is equal to 12 again v1 comma 5 is nothing but v05 comma 12 plus v03 it is equal to 12 and explain how it is 12 only all these columns look at here uh, in order to fill this first column here j minus w i is less than 0 ok so because the weight of the first item is 2 and the capacity is 1 1 minus 2 is minus 1 in that case you have to record the value which is there in the previous row and in the same column v i minus 1 comma j go to the previous row in the same column what is the value recorded the same thing you record here that's all that is what is explained in this equations okay in order to fill this cell okay, since it is look at here j here j is 2 and weight of the first item is 2 so 2 minus 2 which is greater than or equal to 0 in this case it's equal to 0 so, go to the previous row and in the same column value recorded is 0, comma, value of the first item is 12. 12 plus, you have to go two columns back because here v i minus 1, comma, j minus w i, j is 2, weight of the first item is 2. So, you are required to go two columns back. The value recorded here is 0. So, 
zero comma twelve plus zero, the maximum value is twelve. Similarly, here also go to the previous row. In the same column, zero is recorded, comma twelve plus two columns back. We have to go twelve plus zero. Again, twelve is the value. Similarly, you have to write for v one four and v one five. So, because we are considering in the first row only the first item, whatever may be the capacity is, you can able to accommodate only one item into the set. And from second column onwards, all the values it's equal to twelve only. That is the maximum value you can earn with first item by considering the first items item. Okay. So we'll see in the second case. Here we are considering the second item into the set. We'll see how this can be done. V two comma one two comma one. In this case, you are required to find out this one. J minus W I. That is J is one. One minus the weight of the first item is one. So one minus one is equal to zero. In this case, you have to find out maximum of V one comma one comma ten plus. V one comma zero. That is zero. V one comma one is zero. Comma ten plus V one comma zero is zero. So the maximum value is ten. Similarly, V two comma two. So V two comma two in this case also, you have to find out maximum of one two comma ten plus V one comma one twelve comma ten plus zero. So I'll just explain uh, this recurrence relation. You solve it by yourself and find out how these values I have calculated. So in order to calculate these values, it's a simple thing. Looking at the table easily, you can calculate how. So here, the weight of the second item is one. So capacity here is one. One minus One is equal to zero. In this case, what you are required to do is go to the previous row in the same column. The value recorded is zero. Zero, comma. Value of the second item is ten. Ten plus v i minus one comma j minus w i. V i minus one. That is go to the previous row. J minus W I that is one minus weight of the second item is one, so you have to go one column back. So here zero comma ten plus zero the maximum value is ten. Similarly, this can be done like this. Go to the previous row. The value recorded is twelve comma value of the second item is ten. Ten plus you have to go one column backwards. That is equal to zero. The maximum value here is twelve. So twelve is recorded here. So in order to find this value, go to the previous row. The value recorded is twelve, comma. The value of the second item is ten. Ten plus go to the previous row and in the previous column the value recorded is twelve. So ten plus twelve, it's equal to twenty-two. Similarly, this is also being done. So go to the previous row. It is twelve. Ten plus one column backwards. You have to go. So here the value recorded is twelve. So twelve comma twenty-two. It's equal to twenty-two. Easily you can able to predict the values of the table. Why? Because so when the weight of the First item is two. You cannot able to accommodate the first item with capacity one, but second item can be accommodated when the capacity is one because the weight of the second item is one. So when the capacity is one, so when you have given two items, you can 
fill the second item into the sack and the value of an arm is 10. When the capacity is 2, either you can accommodate the first item or second item. But accommodating the first item will fetch more value. So item 1 is considered when the capacity is 2. Similarly, here. So when the capacity is 3, you can accommodate both the items here. Item 2 and uh, sorry, item 2 and item 1 total weight is 3. So the when you accommodate both the items, total value will be 22. And when the capacity is 4 and 5, so both the items is filled into the sack. So till here you have considered maximum of two items into the sack and from the capacity 3 onwards you can consider both the items to the sack with that total value you are going to earn is 22 that is what is formulated with the recurrence relation next we'll see whether to accommodate third item to the sack or not in case if I accommodate third item into the sack, so what are the values we are going to earn that is explained in this recurrence relation. So first here, uh, in the case of uh, B31, B31, so 1 is the capacity of the sack here. So when the capacity is 1 and weight of the third item is 3. So, 1 minus 3 is negative. So, in this case, you have to consider the value which is there in the previous row under the same column that you have to write as it is. And here, uh, in the second case also, that is when the capacity is 2, 2 minus 3, again it is less than 0. So, you have to consider whatever value you have earned when you have Fill the second items. Second, uh, that is V22. So 12 only you have to write. And in this column, okay, so 3 minus 3, weight of the third item is 3, so it's equal to 0. You have to find out what is V23, comma 20. Value of the third item is 20 plus V2, comma 0. So that is 22, the maximum is 22. Similarly, V34 can be found like this, V24, 20 plus V21, it's equal to 30. Similarly, V35 can be calculated by using V25, 20 plus V2, 2, it's equal to 32. So I'll just explain how you can calculate by looking at the table itself. So, whenever the capacity is 1 and 2, you cannot able to accommodate the third item because third item weight is 3. So, you have to consider whatever value which is there in the previous row and in the same column. So, same thing is copied here and here also same thing is copied here. Okay. So, in this case, G minus WI that is capacity is 3. And weight of the third item is 3. So, it's equal to 0. So, in this case, you just go to the previous row. In the same column, the value recorded is 22, comma, value of the third item is 20, plus, you have to go back 3 columns backwards. Backward. So, when you go back 3 columns backward, the value recorded here is 0. So, maximum of this 22 comma 20 is 22 so that's why it's being written as 22 here so instead of when the weight of the third item is 20 either you can accommodate the third item here or you can accommodate item 1 and 2 but according uh, uh, including item 1 and 2 will fetch more value rather than including item 3 alone. That's the reason we have considered the value 22 that is item 1 and 2 is considered when the capacity is 3 and item 3 is not 
considered here so next one is v4 comma uh, sorry v3 comma 4 here in this case go to the previous row the value recorded is 22 comma value of the third item is 20 plus go back three columns the value recorded here is 10 so the maximum of these two here is 30 so 30 is being written so next in the next case uh, like v in order to find out v3 comma 5 you are required to find out what is v2 comma 5 so go to the previous row in the same column the value recorded is 22 comma value of the third item is 20 plus go back for uh, three columns backward that is 12 the maximum of these two is 32 so 32 is the written here in the next case straight away i will explain you how this table is filled i will not explain in detail this relation recurrence relation how the value is computed using recurrence relation okay yeah so weight of the fourth item is 2 and value of the fourth item is 15 so in this case when the capacity is 1, you cannot be able to accommodate the fourth item into the sack. So, whatever value which is there in the previous row and column, same thing you are required to record. So, that is what is being done here. But when the capacity is 2, okay, so you can think of a solution like this. Go to the previous row and in the same column, the value recorded is 12 then value of the fourth item is 15 plus v i minus 1 comma j minus w i j is here in this case 2 and w i that is weight of the fourth item is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 that is you have to go two columns backward then value recorded here is 0 so 12 comma 15 the maximum value is 15 that is being recorded here so we'll see how to fill this value go to the previous row the value recorded is 22 then 15 plus go back two columns the value is 10 so maximum here is 25 that is being written here and we'll see how this can be done so go to the previous row the value recorded is 30 15 plus you have to go back two columns backward that is 12 so 30 comma 27 so maximum is 30 that's why written 30 here similarly v45 can be calculated like this go back to the previous row and in the same column the value recorded is 32 comma 15 plus two columns backward so 37 is the maximum value so the maximum value is 37 in order to achieve this optimal value we'll see what are all the items is being included for that you need to backtrack in this table so find out whether v4 comma 5 is it equal to v3 comma 5 in this case it's not equal so item 4 is included into the sack so when item 4 is included with weight 2 left out capacity is 3 so find out v3 comma 3 is it equal to v2 comma 3 it's same so item 3 is not included into the sack then find out v2 3 is it equal to v1 3 so it's not same therefore item 2 is included when item 2 with weight 1 is included then the left out capacity is 2. Then finally, check with this. V, because uh, already we have cross check 4, 3 and second item. The finally, the left out item is 1. So, V, 1, comma left out capacity is 2. 
v1 comma 2 is it same as that of v0 to no so therefore here item 1 is being included here optimal solution here is item 1 item 2 and item 4 whenever you include these items into the set the optimal value what you are going to get is 37 and this can be written with vector format also 1101. So in this case, in order to find the solution, you are required to find out all n into w values. That is, n is number of items and w is capacity of the sack. In this case, number of items is 4 and capacity is 5. So totally we have computed 20 values in order to find the optimal solution.